same little shamrock in my store right now. Lots of really nice Roseville pottery. This Formica table is super cute, but it is $200. Oh my goodness. Adorable. Lots of Francoma. This is so cool. Aluminum cups with a stand and an ice bucket. Wow. There's some really cool advertising down here. Frosty Fizz, Keen Cutter, Coca-Cola. Really cool old metal toys. Oh, these are gorgeous. Amethyst and crystals. Wow. These look exactly like Hazel Atlas Platinite. Though I've never seen them in mixing bowls. Makes me very curious. These are pretty cool. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I'm back with another haul, finally. The montage that you just seen was actually at a antique mall that I went to. I didn't end up getting anything because it was all pretty pricey and I didn't find anything that I wanted. So it was just great to get out of the house. I was actually on the hunt for some old fountain pens, like some antique style fountain, not antique, vintage fountain pens, maybe from the 40s or 50s. I didn't see any that I liked. There was a couple, I'll insert a photo here. Those are some pens that I seen and they just weren't really that spectacular. So I didn't grab them. I did, however, buy my own first fountain pen. It's an Esterbrook uh, from the 40s or 50s. I will definitely show you when I get it, but I'm really happy about it. It's in green, so it's really neat. That's uh, my birth month color pretty much this of August. So it's gonna be really a great little present for myself, I guess. So I got that. I got some ink to fill it with once I get it. And I was just, I spent so many hours researching vintage pens, but I'm gonna go ahead and get along with the haul and I'll show you what I got. I also just got some things in from the t-shirt company. So I'll show you those too. These things I grabbed last year, I think it was, from a flea market and they are Halloween string lights. I bought them because they caught my eye. I don't think I paid $7. I think I paid $6 a piece for them. And it might've been a little bit less than that too. I think I paid, but I do think it was like $12 for the, for the pair of them. So very neat. They are vintage. We got little ghosts that say boo. And then these are just regular looking ghosts, regular looking, whatever that means. <laughs> They're the normal and these are more cartoony. So very fun. These will go on my store. I don't really know how old they are. They can't be that old. The string lights don't look to be that old, but the plastic does seem to be a little, mm, you know, older. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe, maybe the eighties or nineties or something like that. So pretty cool and very nice. So I went to a yard sale. Like I said, I didn't get anything at the antique mall, but on the way to the antique mall, I found a yard sale. The yard sale was actually going on last weekend too. I just didn't stop at it. But this weekend I said, well, might as well. I need to try to find something. So I did, I found some really cute little figurines and things. First up right here, we have a brass squirrel, 75 cents, not bad at all. And it is marked with the old Walmart logo. They are made in Taiwan from the seventies or so. And that's a really nice little brass piece. You know, they don't go for very much, but I could probably put 12 or $15 on it. And I think it'll do really well being a squirrel and all. I also grabbed these for 50 cents. They are adorable. They are not salt and pepper shakers, which you'd think they would be, wouldn't you? Because uh, they're a pair, but they're not, unfortunately. I guess you could always drill a hole in the top, right? They got bottoms. So 50 cents only, they're made, actually you don't want to drill a hole in these, I don't think. They are Joseph Originals. So I need to do a little research on those and see if they are very collectible or what. But they are really cute and they don't seem to be in any, have any issues with them. So that's really nice. All right, I also grabbed these little Cocker Spaniels. Again, let's see. They are not salt and pepper shakers either, but you know what? 
These are also Joseph Originals. I didn't realize that at the time. I didn't pay 50 cents a piece, I paid 50 cents for the pair. It's only fair because obviously these were 50 cents for the pair, so I just asked them if they would do 50 cents for the pair of those, and she said yes. So I grabbed them, they are really cute, made in Japan, great, great business. These, I um, I thought about it, I decided to go ahead and get them. I paid $3 instead of four for the pair of them. So not a, not too bad of a price, but they are adorable. They're little mermaid, mermaid, um, I don't know what you call that, angels, and eh, they're not really angels though. They're just like little, little mermaid things. And they are older. I can tell that from the way that it's stamped on the bottom there. It sort of has like an, an Inesco or left in kind of look to it, but um, a little, I'm a little iffy on it, I don't know. Some of this, see how that shines there? Kind of like a seashell. Well, it's a shell, isn't it? How fun. It has this rainbow iridized kind of look to it. That stuff was really popular like in the late 90s, early 2000s. And I remember that because it was at the dollar store and we used to go to the dollar store quite often. And uh, so I would pick up little knickknacks and things like that. Those were little cheapo things. And they would be of like, they would be of uh, elephants and things like that. But uh, these I think are much older, so yeah, I think they're pretty cool. Okay, got these in the mail. They turned out actually much better than I thought, so that is great. Now this bag here, it says, free is my favorite price. And of course, this is Jen the Pudgy Picker's favorite slogan, one of the, her favorites. And it is actually a really nice material. It's washable, it feels like. It has kind of a slight polyester feel to it. But, uh, and the inside is sort of like a, you know, I should have prepared what my words were gonna be on this. <laughs> it has more of a different kind of an inside. And then it's actually double-sided, so that's awesome. I'm gonna send this to Jen, and hopefully she'll use it. I know she's having issues with her savers. They didn't want, they don't, um, I don't think they give out plastic bags anymore or something, or maybe they charge you, or I don't know, but yes. This is this um this would look really cute to use and I I didn't know for sure if it was going to be double sided or not but they are double sided so that's even better, very neat, okay and then I got this for myself. I love it. I love the shirt. I'm off the hook. <laughs> so this this phone this shirt I actually did within an hour. Yeah, about within an hour and that's from start to finish and what I had to do for that is actually go take a picture of a rotary phone and luckily I have some. So I went down into the photo booth, took a photo of this, put it into Photoshop, processed it so it has sort of a, more of a cartoony look, so it's not so literal. And then I put the words in. And so really nice, simple shirt, and I plan to wear it, I think. This is a nice brand canvas, so when you order shirts from the Inktail store that I post my shirt designs in, this is the type of material that you'll get if you just do a men's regular shirt. It's canvas, Bella and canvas style. So it is Saturday about midday and this morning we actually had a yard sale at Aaron's sister's house where I tried to get rid of some things before I just donate them. So I have things still in the car. I've got a quilt rack. I don't know if you can see it. Quilt rack, card table, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I was at the yard sale for maybe maybe like five hours or four mm, yeah like four hours or so I made a grand total of five dollars <laughs> so all right that's great so uh, whatever it was mostly just fun to do it and do something different for a change so now I'm gonna go out to a, a flea market that I don't really go to all too often because it is not the best you know it's in sort of a rundown barn and the stuff there isn't that spectacular, but I am just wanting to get out of the house. My head is killing me right now. We had a big storm come through, I think last night or the day before, something like that. So I'm wanting just to get out of the house anyway, and maybe I'll stop at that yard sale that I went to yesterday. I think it was yesterday. <laughs> My days are all mixed up when I, I went to that other sale. So maybe I'll go back again because they had a lot of tables, a lot of tubs of things still with stuff in them. So maybe I'll be able to find some more things on my way over to that town to go to that, to that flea market. So that's the next step. All right, I am back from the antique mall flea market place. And, whoo boy, 
luckily I found some things. That's really exciting. I haven't been able to find many sourcing opportunities as of late, but I took a chance, went over to the flea marketplace and found some really cool items. So over here, I grabbed a couple sets of these tumblers. They are those aluminum tumblers and each stack here was marked $5 and the guy that owned these or whatever, he agreed to do it for $4 a stack. So that's really fun. And then these came with it. They are not named or not branded, but they have a hammered look to them. And there's a pair of those that match with the hammered. And then this is just a standard, let's see, Anno Wark, Wharf or Wark, Anno Wark with a K. So pretty cool. I will try to get a little bit more on these than I did on my first batch of aluminum tumblers. The, the first batch that I put online sold pretty 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 quickly within you know weeks or a month or so so I'm going to put a little bit more on these and hopefully get a little bit more out of them because I paid more than I did the first time if you remember the first time that I bought all these tumblers like this it was at a at a uh, a state a state sale and they were two dollars for the whole flat of them so this is a little bit more but they sell I also grabbed this here this was only a dollar I don't know if I would have normally grabbed it or not. It's just in beautiful shape though. See, there's no chips on the edges at all. So for a dollar, and then also that is still there. The clip that you use to hang it on the wall is still intact. So all around a really great piece. Hopefully I can get around $15 plus shipping on that because it's real fun and kishy, great for a vintage kitchen. Also grab these things right here. Now these items here were three for a dollar. They were in the three for a dollar bin. So that's a really great price. We have here some Fire King Kimberly from the 70s. This is an orange to gold ombre faded coloring. And there they are, Fire King and Hawking oven proof. And they also do come with a matching mug. This is not the mug. This is just another fun mug that I got because it was in the bin. The mugs look just like this, just in a mug form. So it's a pair of these and they match just like that. And then, like I said, I got this little mug here. It is not branded with any name, so I don't know much about it. It's just a fired on red mug. Also from the three for a dollar section was these items here. I grabbed these for myself. They're just some old rulers. I like the way they look. They have some wear to them. So I grabbed a pair of those. And then this is a deep fat, deep fry candy thermometer. So we'll see if that does very well. It's made by Sunbeam. Now, this will probably go online, this thermometer. Also, three for a dollar was these strawberry jam jars. And that's a really great price for these. So all in great shape. Something like this, I think I'm gonna just do quantity. I think I sold one of these before, so I really just need to update my quantity. They are in brilliant shape without any issues, any chips or anything like that. So that's fantastic. Also, at the end, at the place I just came from, I got this the, um, Thermos brand lunchbox in silver. Silver is one of the better better colors to get of these because they tend to sell quicker for me than just the straight black ones. If this thing would go down, that would be lovely. Well, anyways, <laughs> okay, whatever. So. <laughs> It is the thermos from the 50s or 40s or so, and there is not a thermos inside of it. It's just thermos lunchbox, thermos brand. The bottom is really worn away. You can't really see it, but if you were to look inside of it, you'd probably see the stamp. And then that is all I got from the, the mall. I keep forgetting what things are called. The flea market. And then on the way back I, home, I went to that yard sale that I went to a couple days ago. And I found this, it says, I love my Pekingese, 50 cents, great price because it's in perfect shape. And there's no issues at all, just a little dirty. I'll have to wash that and it's made by George Good, Japan. It's probably from the 70s or so. So all around, I think I did pretty good for just an impromptu visit to a couple places like that here on a Saturday. It feels like Sunday, but it's certainly not. But anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of everything. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.